A huge fight night this Saturday. Jermel Charlo, Canelo Alvarez for the undisputed super middleweight championship. This is Jermel's first trip up to 168. S.A., talk to me. <sighs> By the way, I'm going to interview uh, Jermel Charlo on my podcast today, the Stephen A. Smith podcast, uh, this afternoon. I'm very, very, very worried for him. And the reason I feel that way is that, first of all, he's a, a sensational boxer. High bo uh, boxing is. IQ, the whole bit. My issue is that he's moving up two weight classes. His twin brother, born a minute before him, is the legitimate super middleweight champion, like, as, as, as you know, in terms of his size. That's his weight class. Jam that's Jamal. Jamel, who's fighting Canelo, is moving up two weight class. Obviously, his brother's got some issues he's dealing with, and Jamel is fighting, but he said he was the one that always wanted this fight because he believed that he could beat Canelo. My issue, Canelo, Can Canelo's a monster, RC. He's one of the great ones. Yeah. There is no doubt about it. Um, and I think the key to Charlo beating him is to box him, stay away from him. Stay away from him. And I'll point him. You don't want to get into a slugfest with Canelo Alvarez when you are the smaller guy. I don't care how big he looked. Uh, you know, you know, in a in a pre-fight promotion, he's taller. You know, I don't care about a tall. Yeah. And a, I want to hear that. He's been fighting yeah. at 154. Hey, he RC? ain't been in the ring. Yep. Getting RC, punched. Before you go, don't, don't, don't worry. excuse me, don't. one sec, RC. Did did you feed Zuri today, or walk Zuri, or give her water? <laughs> what? Well, I have been doing television wrong. with you something's for wrong. like six years. <laughs> I've never heard about Zuri going wild <laughs> like this. Like, what's going on? Well. Something's wrong with our air condition, and Zuri is like a she's a trained protection dog, and so the air, the AC guy is walking in the hallway, and I just think she wants a piece of him, and so <laughs> this is what this is what we get, you know what I mean? Dogs going to dog, and I can't apologize to Zuri doing exactly what she was trained to do when I'm away working, so that's it. But I will say this about the the fight though, Molly. Like it's when when you move up weight classes the way that Jamel is moving up, you have to have something on your side. And so normally the smaller fighter will move up because he's more skilled. You know we've seen that with uh, Roy Jones when he moved up to fight. Even Canelo moving up recently to fight. I think it was in a light heavyweight. But the problem is is, is this. Canelo is as skilled as Jamel Charlo is, if not more skilled. He's a great defensive fighter, and we've seen him lose to Floyd Mayweather early on in his career, and because of that fight, his defense improved. Because of that fight, he worked on his skills to add along with his power, and then later on in his career when we saw him lose, it was just because he was the smaller man, and so I think those are the things that Charlo is going to have to contend with in this fight and why I go with Canelo. I believe he's just as skilled, if not, if not more skilled, but also the bigger fighter used to carrying that weight. And so this is going to be a very difficult fight for Jamel Charlo. I, I, I just think that, I, I think, listen, Charlo, if Charlo is such a courageous fighter and he's so gifted, the people don't give him enough credit. And I believe in his skill set. It's just that Canelo's the kind of guy, Molly, and RC knows this. Canelo's the kind of guy, if you cannot hurt him because you're the smaller guy, he will walk yep. through you. And my thing is, I mm -hmm. know that Charlo's got power. I've seen the power, but that was at a lighter weight class. Moving up not one, but two weight classes to take on this dude, I think is a tall task. I think Charlo should be favored. I'm sorry, I think that Canelo should be favored. I'm praying it's yeah. a decision. I don't want Charlo to get knocked out, but I will say this real quick. I'm upset that Canelo hasn't fought the Mexican monster, as Mike Tyson calls him, David Benavidez yet. That's the man. Benavidez, yep, Benavidez. That's the That's man the that he should be fighting. That's the fight. At super middleweight. And I'm tired of people of...